Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So as I promised you all last video, I did say that I was going to be on multiple accounts this week working on extra 30 hour videos and what I wanted to do with this account since I haven't been on it in so long because this was my former alternate account that I used to make uh, money with I think in like 2015 and a little bit of 2016. But yeah, I never finished 99 woodcutting on this account, and I was doing, I think, magic logs for the longest time, and since I did cutting magic logs for 30 hours, I wanted to try something new and something fresh. So I started from absolute scratch, and I went and got 35 smithing, which took me, I think, 30 minutes to do from level 1. And then I did the quest Dwarf Cannon, which also took, I think, 25 minutes, which doesn't require anything to do. And I started smithing cannonballs, so I tracked every single level that I got. And not only that, I wanted to see how much money we could make in 30 hours of smithing cannonballs as well, so... Yeah, I wanted to do this on a brand new account because if I did this on my main, I don't know, I don't think I could forgive myself for wasting 30 hours, you know, making such a small amount of money. But like I said, people do this on side accounts for money, and I don't think, you know, anyone really does this on their main. So I wanted to just see how much money we can make, you know, compare it to cutting magic logs because they're equally AFK. I think this is probably more AFK than magic logs, though, by a little bit. Because it's 2 minutes and 42 seconds to smith a whole inventory of steel bars into cannonballs. And you only have to click, as you can see here, the furnace is very close to the bank. So you only have to click, I think, 3 times in that time. So maybe like 3 clicks per 3 minutes on average. Which really isn't that bad at all. So yeah, I was on my other account doing 30 hours of gargoyles while I was doing this. And I don't think I ever really got annoyed by having to click just a little extra every couple minutes. So... Yeah, I was pretty surprised by the XP. Uh, I will talk a little bit about, you know, the XP per hour, the GP per hour when we hit the live commentary, but it wasn't actually that bad. As you can see, the smithing levels were getting here pretty quickly, and, and there really wasn't that many bots here. I mean, it was pretty nice just hopping around, only seeing about two to three people in every single world. Uh, maybe there's more on the weekends, I'm not too sure, but even the famous uh, Rank 3 Fishing Viper Kai stopped by and said hello, so that was nice. But yeah, you can just see the smithing levels stack up here. I mean, we did get over 60 smithing, as you can see here there it is and it's nice to see that you know starting from an initial level of 35 and just seeing the levels stack up like that over time really nice to see the end result uh, come out like that so we are going to cut into the live commentary and show the XP and GP gained in the past 30 hours thank you guys very much for watching if you have any suggestions for another 30 hour on this account feel free to leave a comment below and I will see you next time Okay, so here we are 30 hours later with the final result of the video. First things first, just showing the hours that we did log here. It took about 3 days to make this video. Usually uh, play about 8-10 to 10 hours a day on average, so wasn't too bad. Uh, it was very convenient to do this as well because cannonballs you only need to click about 5-6 to six times per every minute or two, at least that's what I feel like I was doing, so very AFK, one of the most AFKable money making methods in the game I would say. And the real question is, how many cannonballs did we make in 30 hours time? And not only that, but how many levels did we get? Well, let's do the levels first, because I feel like the profit's probably the fun part. Or maybe the funny part, depending on how you look at it. But yeah, 64 smithing from level 35. We got about 29 smithing levels in 30 hours time. Not too bad at all. I mean, when you're averaging, you know, 12 to 15k smithing XP per hour, you really can't ask for much. But that did lead to the final result of it being starting from zero cannonballs and getting all the way up to 62,000. Uh, we were averaging about 124k to 130k GP profit per hour. Uh, how I calculated that's very simple. It takes one steel bar to make four cannonballs, so you take the price of four cannonballs, you take the price of a steel bar, you minus those two numbers, whatever you get is your profit left over from one steel bar individual. And uh, yeah, you just multiply that by the amount of profit you're making per bar, and that's, your, that's pretty much your total number. So all in all, in 30 hours of smithing cannonballs, we made about 3.7 to 3.8 mil profit, about 240 to 245 GP per bar, and we got 412k smithing XP in 30 hours time. So, the real question is, is this worth it? Absolutely not. Why would this ever be worth it? But on a side account, such as this account, dedicated to doing nothing but AFKing and making GP on the side, I think it is worth it because I did 99 um, wood cutting on magic logs in the wood cutting guild. I made very similar GP per hour as this method does. Only the big difference is you needed such high requirements for the wood cutting thing. And for this, you only needed two very easy requirements. You only got to click, like I said, four to five times every minute or two. 
and it is this AFK. So it's very long lasting. Your character can stay here for quite a while, and that's why a lot of people do this on the side. So I think it's worth it. I would definitely say as it goes for alternate accounts, this is one of the best money making methods to do because of just the simple fact that you don't have to click that much and you definitely don't have to pay much attention. So yeah, that is the final result of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. 3.7 mil profit in about 30 hours time, 124 to 130k GP per hour and about 10 to 15k smithing XP per hour based off of how much you AFK. So. That is it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below on what you would like to see done for 30 hours time on this account. Uh, cannonballs was just the easiest idea that I had right off the bat, and I was actually considering making this into a maybe loot from 100 hours of smithing cannonball video, but I figure that that's not really worth making considering you guys already know the profit per hour, and a simple calculation will give you 100 hours loot. So, I don't know, if it's kind of up to you guys. If you want to see 100 hours of smithing cannonballs, maybe road to 99 smithing, let me know. Or if you have any other general ideas, I would really appreciate them. So, until next time, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. And until then, Mr. No Sleep, out.